Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this video, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking to you about a little launch from Westman Artelier. This is the new Lip Suede and it's in the Le Nude colour and I picked this up alongside the brush that comes along with it. So this is the lip brush. Now if you have watched my channel you would have seen I did a Westman Artelier video looking at the other lip suede which was the original one which had the four red colours and I decided to pick up the nude one because I do love nudes as well as reds so today we're going to be talking about these two and I'm going to put it on my lips for you today we're going to just swatch the colours and you can see how each one looks on my lips as well as trying out the lip brush as well I'm going to tell you a little funny story I actually picked up these from Liberty the funny thing was was when I picked these up instead of getting sent one lip brush I got sent three lip brushes I don't think I need three lip brushes so. let's have a look at these two today so the first one that we're going to look at obviously is the lip suede and the Le Nude colour itself. It comes in a gorgeous pouch so as you can see this pouch is gorgeous and it has the string just here and then it has the lovely packaging that you would expect from Westman Artelier and it is just absolutely stunning. I mean you are paying for the packaging because my god is this gorgeous. So, so this is what it looks like. There's a mirror as well which is lovely and then you've got the four shades here. So, so let's take a look in more detail. So these are the four shades and I have prepped my skin just so that it's all ready to go with the lipstick. I've got the Dior foundation on, which is the one with the white cap, which I've just done a video on recently. I completely forgot the name. I will list everything below that I've put on my face and I have the Chantecaille blush, which I am loving. Well, today we're gonna be looking at these four colors. Take a look at how gorgeous that is. I mean there is a colour for every sort of season, it's stunning. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to try these colours on their own and the good thing about these is you can mix these as well so you can come up with your own combinations but let's just see how these look on my skin. I'm really really excited to try these on my lips so what we're going to do is we're going to do these on my lips and then after that we'll swatch the colours and you can see the colours in a little bit more detail. So this is the brush and I just wanted to show you the brush. So it is the, well they call it the lip brush and it also has its own pouch as well. I love the sort of packaging that comes around Westman Artelier. Their products are really well made but also has this real essence of luxury. That is why we're buying these products and why we're paying a little bit more for them. So. I'm really glad that that is the case and you get a pouch. So you go in and this is the lip pencil. So you've got something that is on the top of it. There's sort of like a black grip. And I believe that these brushes are made in Japan. And I think they're written on the actual brush itself from what I read. Yeah, it says lip brush and it says lip and then it says Japan. So these are really sort of well-made brushes. So let's have a look at the colours. Well, I just want to tell you what is the highlight of these products. So it's a radiant finish gel, contains vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, peptides. The shade is Le Nude and it boosts collagen production. So it has quite a few benefits in there. It has jojoba oil, so that boosts hydration and strengthens skin. And then it has avocado oil, which nourishes and moisturizes. It also has biometric peptides, which boosts the lip volume and firms. So there are lots of benefits here. So the top one is called mulled wine, then it's cafe creme, then it's peony, and then it's warm rose. So that is in the order from top to bottom.
So what I thought we'd do just before we finish this video is to quickly show you the swatches of these on my arm. Bearing in mind these are quite emollient, this is the first colour which is called Warm Rose. This is the second colour which is called Peony. This is the third colour which is called Café Creme. And the final colour which I have on my lips at the moment which is called Mulled Wine. So those are the four colours in the Les Nude from Westman Artillier. That this brush is good. I think that if you are looking for a sort of travel size brush that you can take along with you and it kind of complements this particular sort of lip suede, then I would definitely recommend this. Uh, I love the fact that it feels quite soft on my skin and it just feels really nice to apply. So that is my verdict on the brush. Now it's not a necessity. You can get brushes that are cheaper. So that is really your sort of decision. However, I really like the fact that I can use this with my previous Le Rouge and now with the Le Nude, I do like the brush. I would say this is really good to have if you're out and about and you have the brush. Now, the brush feels lovely, it feels really soft on my lips and gave me that coverage that I needed to sort of spread the pigment across my lips. And so this would be good to carry in your handbag as well because it's quite a nice small size and just seems to suit this sort of set up really well. So that's why I bought it because I don't really have lip pencils that are quite short. So this is really, really nice. I really loved, I would say the first color on my lips and the last color. The ones in the middle, unfortunately didn't really show as much as I would have liked. That doesn't say that I can't use them. I probably mix them most likely. Maybe I'll mix the pink with the darker color or mix those two pinks together just to give a little bit more depth purely because they don't really show as much. I'd say this one is very much like a sort of cafe creme. I think that might be the color they call that one. It's like a sort of coffee color. So that really is more like a beige color when it shows up on my lips. So that's how I would rate these colors. Now, well, how does it compare to Le Rouge, which is the other palette that they first brought out? I'd probably say with Le Rouge that if you're darker or of my skin tone, that is gonna suit you better than the nude palette, which is this one. I do like it and it's really lovely because I do love Westman Atelier products and these are super buttery, super lovely on my lips and felt sort of like they were hydrating my lips, which I really loved. I just wish that the two colours in the middle were better suited or I guess stronger on my lips than they appear to be. So what I would say is if you do purchase this one and you do decide to pick this one up, just be aware that you may have to mix a lot of these colours to get a sort of more darker pigment appear because these are the Le Nude, I suppose. So these are designed to be lighter on the skin and create more of a lighter finish. Just while we're here together, I might just take one of these colors and just see if I can sort of mix the colors together. Now I've got the darkest shade on, which you, would you believe this is the darkest shade? And then I might take one of the other colors and mix it and let's just see what happens. I might try the maybe more pinkier shade and let's see what happens when I add that to my lips. So really this is just an experiment. I think what's happening, I can already see, is it's just creating a little bit of an ombre effect, which is absolutely fine because the color is lighter. So I would say experiment with this palette. It is not really designed to be mega, mega strong. It is meant to be a nude sort of situation. So bearing in mind when you buy that, just be aware. So I think that this is a great purchase if you already have the Le Rouge one. If you had to pick between the two, I would go with Le Rouge first because I think the colors are a little bit more punchy and a little bit more better for most skin tones. I think this one would suit someone who is a bit more fairer than I am. Although I can get away with one and four, sadly two and three just doesn't have that punch as much as I would like. So that's probably what I'd say about this. And the packaging is gorgeous, but obviously people want to know how the product works. So I hope that this review has kind of given you a little bit of an insight how that lip appears on my lip 
and what it looks like. Please let me know your comments in the comment section below. Did you pick anything up from Westman Atelier? Have you picked up anything? I know they've got a lot of products now. Please check out my previous video as well if you get a moment on the Westman Atelier products I picked up before, including the foundation. I think I picked up the bronzer and yeah, just some other bits, including the Le Rouge, which is the first one that they brought out. So please take a look at that. I really look forward to hearing your thoughts and your comments and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.